Reports. We start tonight with a crime tracker alert. Spring Hill police say these two people are under arrest, suspected of being involved in a nationwide theft ring, stealing credit cards from shoppers and then quickly using those cards to spend thousands of dollars. Our Andy Cordan has the details of this investigation you're seeing first on News 2. You're looking at a stack of gift cards. There's $11,000 on this stack alone, and I'm told it's illegally and fraudulently placed on these gift cards, stolen from people from Spring Hill to perhaps all over the USA. How many victims do you think we're talking here? This is hundreds of cards. I mean, hundreds. In how many states? I mean, in theory, it could be all of them. On August 28th... You don't speak English? Spring Hill police stopped this couple. My name? Maria? She claims to be 27-year-old Maria Guzman. Do you have a ID? No. American ID? No. No? No. He says he's 37-year-old Saul Serrano. Well, they say they don't speak any English. There was a language barrier. You don't even really know what their names are. You really don't know what country they're from. Right. We're working with our uh, law enforcement partners in an, an attempt to identify these two individuals. Uh, they did have some identification on them, but as you know, it could be counterfeit or, you know, the true identity remains, remains unknown. According to investigators, while one member of this team allegedly distracts a female shopper, the other steals a credit card out of her purse. Then, according to police, the duo quickly used the stolen credit card, putting more than $1,000 on gift cards. They're part of a nationwide organization. These are just the low people on the totem pole. They're probably working with, you know, 10 or 15 other people in the area, coordinating their efforts, and just go from location to location. While the duo doesn't say anything to police, investigators do find all this inside the couple's car. You're looking at hundreds of gift cards from stores all around the USA. The total amount on these cards, more than $22,000. So this is like a modern day pickpocketing and then electronically transferring the money. They're not buying a crock pot. They're putting the money on a card they can use anytime, anywhere later. Yeah, basically they can go to another store, buy merchandise with that, then return the merchandise, turn it into cash somehow. From there, it can fund, you know, payment for any type of criminal activity, human trafficking, drugs, whatever. Both these folks are currently in the Murray County Jail. I asked for an interview. They both declined. Right now, they're being held on no bond because they're a flight risk. In Spring Hill, Andy Cordan, News 2. And police say when you're shopping, be aware of your surroundings. Never leave your purse alone in a shopping cart. Many times, thieves who might not appear to be connected are actually working together. One will distract you so the other can steal from you.